Hello everyone, welcome back to Doom. Um, okay, I was going to play through one of the previous missions because I wanted to make the excuse that if I played through a previous mission, um, what would happen would be that it would do all the stuttering and crappiness in sort of a bonus episode, right? And then I sort of kind of didn't. I didn't really want to. I couldn't. I realised that each mission was actually really, really long. So I decided to just come back here and play as we were. So there's that pinky who's going off in that direction. I think what we're going to have to do here. Last time we did this, it all went horribly wrong for us. Uh, although we did just um, complete close encounters. And we got a weapon upgrade point. And do we have the... Just before we um, really get into this... First of all, we're going to have to do considerably large amount of um, ammo type, recollecting type junk. Did we put on the extra stagger <clears throat> rune? Because if so, we're in a better spot than maybe I suspected because it means that we have good opportunity to try and glory kill as many things as we can. That really hurt. I don't want to be down here. Careful. Was that a direct shot? Maybe. Who knows? Uh, we have plasma rifle ammo. We must use it. I so I genuinely, and you will not believe me, I thought that I was using the uh, shock rifle. The ASMD shock rifle. And I tried to shoot one part of my plasma beam with the other part of my plasma beam. I need to take one of these down in the air, but every time I try, they end up being staggered. Which means we have to do enough damage to them that... They die straight away, basically. 42% health does point out that, um... <clears throat> oh, that was actually really bad. The original Kakademus would try and nom on you too, which is true. But it's such an ineffectual attack, as he points out. Um, it's hot. You don't even really remember that it was a thing. So it's going to be a Mancubus soon. I don't, really want to know, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do about this low ammo thing. I don't think I have any chainsaw ammo. So what I was thinking of doing in this situation... He points out, by the way, these pinkies, you have to shoot them from behind. Uh, I'm just going to go down here. Pick something with a decent amount of ammo. And um, grab the quad damage. Which is still available. And then we'll see who indeed is boss. Who is uh, a joker and who is a smoker. And who is a midnight toker. Now, they, they do have a lot of am damage uh, armor from in front of them, so you're supposed to shoot them from behind, but what I might just do is beat the crap out of this Mancubus, thusly, and then uh, try and deal with these things otherwisely. That was actually a very smart move on my part. We should do that again. Yeah, I'm going to family. Yeah, you can see the armor, actually. It's really, really off. Oh, heck. Really, really obvious. Genuinely, I didn't think he would go around a corner just now. That that felt buggy, if I'm being honest with you. I was correct. These were called just demons in the original Doom. Which seems silly. Oh, I nearly got him. That was much easier. I think that was the correct way of handling that, to be honest. We have got a couple of weapon upgrade points just as a result of doing all of that. Um, let's have a look at our progress on some of these things. Before we did all that, I was going to have a look at some of our situations. Kill three or more demons with a single detonation of the explosive thing. Uh, cluster strike, direct hit. Right, we've already won that one. Fire twice. Oh, that's pretty cool. So we should probably try and get to this because that seems cool. Although the thing on the way through doesn't seem that great. Field drone would be useful. I want to see what the other options there were, but I do recall that it wasn't nearly as good as a Gatling Rotator, which seems strange because that doesn't seem that good. It seems like there should be a better upgrade available to the, to the minigun here, the chain gun. It is a minigun, right? It doesn't say. Um, we've only got three, basically. Demons killed while stunned. Killed 30 stunned demons. Is that that specific stun, or can I just stagger them? Uh, so we don't really, I mean, that's not worth it, right? We haven't unlocked any of the things, so we have to spend six or five. I mean, five, six, you know. Munition fired or zoomed uses heavy damage rounds, so that could be good for us. 
So that's possibly the best one to get for us right now. We should also check the Praetor suit. Although, again, these upgrades... Kind of not that into them. Improve the effects of power-ups. I wonder if that makes quad damage more than four times. Um, I would like some more stuff. There's stuff right here. What is it? What's a grenade? That's why my thing flashes. By the way, it is a... Yeah, it's a chain gun. Okay, good. We haven't used the assault rifle for some time, actually, so... Oh. Let's have a look at this, then. Gauss accelerator design. Which is the Argent Tower itself. An ore digger's powerful weapon. Blah, blah, blah. I wonder if this is the alternative to the BFG, because we have no room for a BFG now. Which is a shame. I did pick up the Codex entry just now. Let's have a look at it. Mancubus. We learned a bit more about Mancubuses. Putriskin. Soft belly is... Yeah, well, we know about that because if we can get that open, we just... If we stagger them sufficiently, we end up exploding them from the inside out. Uh, the Gauss Cannon... I'd like to find a field drone to see what we can get for that. And also, I assume that... Okay, dokie. Well, that was a bait and switch. That's pretty funny. However, pretty sure I got his arm there. It was not the uh, intention. We could just fall off here, and start the fight again. That would make sense too. Kind of look kind of got a little bit overwhelmed, as you can tell by the fact that my words didn't come out in the right... In fact, my syllables didn't come out in the right order, which meant that I got a little bit confused about the situation just now. So we've got our Gauss Cannon. I'm assuming that that doesn't give us um, more ammo for it. How much does it use and what does the right mouse button do? Not much to say when you're just shooting enemies in the head. Nice. Let's uh, let's make this go. Might as well do it all at once. There's no point uh, no point beating about the bush. No point pussyfooting around. Hello. Right, I see. What have we got here? Full HP. Probably could have saved that. You're fighting you. That makes me feel somewhat better about the situation. Although, if we focus too much on one of these, no doubt that is our undoing. Already out of ammo for the gas cannon. Where did you go? There's a lot of, um... There's a lot of things that I have to deal with right here. Which doesn't really fill me with gratitude. Can't have a notice there's a certain quantity of, um... Certain quantity of um, help. <laughs> what am I even saying? Enemies that I don't want to deal with is what I'm saying. They're very weak on their back though, which is good because I don't really have much opportunity to shoot them anywhere else. Oh heck! By which I mean ammunition. Oh, that is a baron of hell. Kill that like this. Perfect. Kill that like this. Yes. It's good to uh, glory kill everything at least once. If nothing else, because you're going to need the ammunition. Try not to overkill them so that I can... Oh, heck. So that I can refill my HP. Uh, and, you know, everything else. <laughs> From... You know what, we should choose a rocket launcher for multiple reasons. Yeah! Headless. Nice. That went quite well. The first time I walked off the edge just for shits and giggles, but the second time we managed to actually beat the wave of enemies that was there when we turned up, plus the wave of enemies that we willingly created for no real reason. And there is chainsaw ammo, which is kind of annoying because I was hoping to use the chainsaw, but I couldn't see a way of doing so. Let's um, sort this out. 
I noticed that that one was staggered. I do, I do. But I want to see if... Let's have a look at the map. I was hoping that there'd be a, a thing to do through there. Uh, no, we're basically stuck. We can either go that way or through what looks like a yellow door. Which is that. Nope. That. Yeah. Access required. Access... Well, access, yes, required. Access permissions required. Authorization required is the name of the game here. Ooh, we could go either way? I feel like that's... Why would I not go this way? So he went through there, as kind of expected. It's good of it to just constantly sort of reaffirm that this is the case. Why? Why was this be here? He said in perfect English. Well, I've got 199 XP. There's probably no reason to pick up, to make use of the nanobots at all. Oh. Go oh, that. Please don't get hurt by that. Well done. Sort of. I'm not sure if I can actually death from above some of these things by simply jumping. Uh, I suspect it's not that easy. What's that noise again? I'm pretty sure it's just ambient. Oh. Oh! Well, you could have said. It's a good thing I didn't actually make the effort of trying to go back because of how it would have been silly. Ooh. Honestly, I thought it was a... Um, a, 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 a ball. You know, the Eye of, Sa Eye of Sauron type thingy. What do we win here? Armoured offence. K Glory killing demons drops armour. I don't know if I like that. I, I mean, I tend to get stuck in the play style. And this is it. You know, make enemies stagger. Try and kill them as fast as you can. What have we got to do here? Eliminate all targets. Health levels are critical. Use armour to survive. So we have to pick up armour by staggering the enemies. We have plenty of time. But not plenty of HP. Oh, we're using... So we have to stagger them in order to get the armour we need to not die when we fail completely at our simple task. Just don't get... Look, it's Isaac. It's Isaac Strats again. Just do not get hit. Uh, you got hit. Good. Well done. There's... Time limit does not go up again when... Shiznit. Probably want to burst a shot. Oh, he's done it. That was actually really easy, considering how badly I've been doing against other things, which are the things that I should be good at, which are things like jumping games. Because actual combat games feel like they should be the things I'm bad at. Ah, cool. So I think now we actually have the opportunity to install a third rune, which I would like. Uh, because most of the runes we've been getting I'm not actually all that interested in, which is cool. So I do have a... Yes, I can equip this rune. So I've got... I do have the staggered one installed, which is what I wanted to check before but forgot. Perform 25 unique glory kills while savagery is equipped. So we have to find basically one more that we haven't done yet. Um, and then we'll be doing them even faster. But there was something that we had... Click on that. There we go. Absorb dropped items could be pretty good. The value of ammo from demons and items could be pretty okay, considering how badly we're doing at ammo right now. Um, <clears throat> don't know if that's useful, considering the equipment that we're using. That was really good. Oh, excuse me. And armor is just more health, which doesn't seem to be the major major malfunction right now. I think it's either that one or that one. Let's go with this one. Because I did like it when we tried it out, but it wasn't quite as good. It didn't quite make the um, the the power rankings above the ones that we are currently using at the time already. But we have max HP, even though max is 200 if we find the HP power thingy. But we have so much armor as well. I'm not 
really thinking that dropping armor from glory kills is going to get us that far. So, uh, I'm just going to keep walking around and expecting... <laughs> yeah. That was a perfect opportunity to get my... Um... Hello. Uh, rocket launcher play up because I need to kill a lot of enemies at once with the rocket launcher in order to. Seriously. We were on good health, but <laughs> now we're not so much. That actually dropped a lot, which is okay. I'm not even going to go to the effort going back to get that. That's how complacent I am about this situation. Yeah. Um, we have to kill lots of things at once in order for the rocket launcher to be upgradable. Any further, we'll open this for literally full ammo. The UAC disclaims all liability and any damages which may result from mishandling of munitions, which is what I'm about to do with all of them. Climb up. Climb up. Because if you have a choice, there's got to be something over here that makes it worth us being here. This is either the correct way to go, or a secret. I mean, that's basically the only two things that there are in the whole game. It looks like the correct way to go. I'm doing a lot of explodey things actually recently. Explosions are not usually my playstyle, but this is working out quite well. I mean, I don't, kind of don't want to be here. I am pressing E. You tell me what to do. Didn't really care to um, glory kill that Joker just now. See, that doesn't count as a kill in terms of the... Uh, Rocket launcher, which is a crying shame because I would like it to have. Because if it did, then I would have got the credit for. I'm not going to try and glory kill a mid-air cacodemon either. If it's all the same to you, miss both of those. I'm not sure if I have to actually right-click to detonate it when I want the um, credit for killing three at once, or if. Simply killing three at once with one rocket is enough. They remind me of something when they're in that state, and I'm not quite sure what. Oh, I see you. Let's um, let's do that. See if I can convince at least one enemy to attack something other than me. Gives us a little bit of. A little bit of... Yeah. A little bit of je ne sais quoi. Oh! Haste. Nice. Does it increase the fire rate as well? Feels like it's increasing the fire rate. So your, um... Your old Mancubus's belly is the bits I aim for there. That was a pretty good shot, if I do say so myself. Tracking that thing. It's also increased the speed of the mouse, it kind of feels like. Good. Still not a unique... Um, still not another unique... Doodad. Oh, information. More Cacodemon information. Cacodemon sense the prince of living. Hunt them relentlessly. Impressive set of mandibles. Correct. A narcotic bile is what it's hitting me with. It compromises movement, which I hadn't actually noticed because usually in that situation I'm already panicking. I think... I'm just going to check here. Well, there is something over there which I hadn't considered looking for. So I have to say, I rather thought that my marine fellow would be able to grab onto that. Otherwise, I suspect that you, as a viewer, could tell my intention from that particular manoeuvre, which was that marine fellow did the correct behaviour and climbed up onto there like I want him to. So I must be able to grab onto one of these, because up here... 
Oh, I don't need to. I spy with my little eye. Something beginning with... This. An eyeball. I mean, I've gone to the effort of finding this, but every time I do it, I go, these things aren't that great. They feel like they should be some of the top things in the game, but I've... I have to agree that the health and armor thing is so irrelevantly different, right? You can pick up a lot of armor, sure, you can pick up a lot of health, sure. They're the same thing. Armor doesn't do anything other than be more health. I am having ammo trouble, so I will take that. But, again, oh, not smart. Don't do it wrong. Um, it doesn't feel like something tangibly different. Like, it's it's a, a bonus. It's not a, a, a change in the game. It's not like you pick it up and it makes this huge difference so that from here on out your whole game is... Trans it's not transformative, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It, it just exists and it's okay. Source feed error. Feed? Feed. I'm struggling to determine whether we've been here or not. I think this is the way we followed upwards in the first place. There's that joker who took the yellow key card. I remember because we couldn't activate a train because we didn't have access. Meanwhile, that's pretty cool, um, we have full access to everywhere because the AI wanted us to have it. Ooh. You cannot send a team in to retrieve it. I am the head of this corporation. All your work and discoveries here belong to me. He was mine before you even found him. Say more words? No? Alright, well, that's a reasonably length episode. I'm trying to cut them down ever so slightly because half an hour seems a little bit... I mean, if you've got a half hour lunch break, then you have no time to actually go and get your lunch and, and watch the rest of the thing. We have picked up the yellow key card, we have had a little bit of exposition. Seems like Olivia Pierce was actually suggesting maybe we don't go in, um, so I'm not quite sure at what point she changed her tune on that. Um, and I hope there'll be a little bit more exposition and not in that lewd way, you rude bastards, in the next episode. But until then, thank you for watching this one. I hope you will like and subscribe as a result of watching this because that is why I live and breathe. And I hope that you will join other. Uh, let's players, including James, of course, and hope that Ed will have put something up soon for you to watch too. But until next time on this series, thanks for watching this one, and I hope to see you then.